Shock and disgust showering over a Roswell neighborhood tonight. Police say three people involved in a major sex trafficking ring are now off the streets. Last September, we told you how Roswell police raided 10 massage parlors, arresting three people. But tonight, police say that same network ended up being much bigger. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper is live tonight from Roswell, where police raided a home in a family-friendly neighborhood. And Tori, this whole thing has neighbors shaken. All of these parents are really upset, Savannah Blair, because many of them have kids that play outside and interact with neighbors. They say they felt something was off about their neighbor, but they never suspected this. Initial reactions to hearing what happened across the street. Um, pretty terrifying, you know, like we've lived here the whole time they have and kind of suspected something was weird, but you know, we never really knew what was going on. These Roswell residents just learned their neighbor was allegedly running a sex trafficking operation across the street. It was upsetting. The upsetting part was we were right next to them. Our backyards are adjacent to each other, but we thought they were good people. Now they don't even want to show their faces on camera over fears of the people their neighbor, 37-year-old Janet Joseph, might allegedly be associated with. Roswell police arrested and charged Joseph. Quinn Zinn and Jin P. Lee for racketeering, sex trafficking, and labor trafficking. Police say they ran a criminal sex trafficking enterprise online operating out of seven different buildings consisting of apartments and hotels in Roswell and throughout Metro Atlanta, providing illicit massages and prostitution. During the course of the search warrants, one victim was identified, adding to the two victims who were located earlier this year as part of the same investigation involving Roswell spas. Neighbors say they believe this is why Janet Joseph may have been keeping such a low profile in their neighborhood. They were never in eight years outside, never in the front, always had things delivered. And when he would come and go, he would close the garage before getting out of the car. Now, a moratorium that prevented new licenses for massage parlors was previously put in place to spot any loopholes and ordinances that were possibly contributing to illicit activities, but that moratorium has since expired. Reporting live in Roswell tonight, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First. Tonight, the